Hey Man Caveans, this is Bob from the Bob Zenscale Man Cave, and we're doing a review of another caboose, this Blueford Shops Short Body Bay Window Caboose. This one is exclusively made for Spring Creek model trains out here in Deschler, Nebraska, and it is uh, the Nebraska Central. So let's go take a look at this one right now. Okay, this model comes out of a jewel case uh, pretty easily. Just pop both off the top, pull out the plastic inserts. There's a uh, protective uh, wrapping, and just slides right out. Nice little caboose. Okay, this model also comes with an axle generator right here. You can see that right there in the package. And that is going to go on the axle down here on this side, just like in the, the drawing on the package, which is this right here. Uh, smokestacks on the right hand side. So this axle here is on the battery box side, which here's the battery box. So that's where it goes. And what they say about this model is that uh, some, more, some caboose road names include details such as marker lights, deck mounted toolboxes, fuel tanks, axle generators, or window screen frames. However, many do not include these. We include the combination of details that best represents the individual road name or road number of the prototype. In fact, paint patterns, striping, and lettering placement often vary from road number to road number on the same railroad. And we do our best to replicate these variations. And that's why this particular one has a axle generator. So we're going to do a close-up view of this caboose. And first off, we're going to start with where the axle wheel generator goes. And that's on this side, right on, right underneath this notch. This notch is only on this side, and it basically gives you some clearance to not hit the body when the wheels turn. Um, the paint scheme, definitely red for uh, Nebraska. If you're familiar with the Nebraska football team, Cornhuskers, yeah, everything's red and white. So they, you know, it's pretty much a theme here in Nebraska. So, the paint looks awesome, uh, nice white roof, a black uh, smokestacks, smokestack up there, there we go, you can see that, and you can also see the, the handrails, they're all pretty uh, tight, they don't really flex hardly at all, I feel like they're made out of metal, but they're not, but uh, on this side you have an equipment box and a black equipment box over here. I'm not exactly sure what they all are used for. Maybe someone out there who knows more about this particular thing can tell me, but and leave a comment. Um, you can tell the details in here. They got uh, watch your step printed on the on the steps right there. And you can see the detail on the ends. Pretty awesome. All the handrails are painted white, stand way out. There's a little marker light or a tail light underneath here to warn other trains that there's a train in front of them. Uh, there's a nice uh, detailed brake wheel, handbrake. Bay window looks good. You can actually see through the bay windows. Pretty nice. On the bottom, that's highly detailed as well. The wheels are Fox Valley brand wheels. They're all metal wheels, so that you don't have to change them out 
later on if you want to do those. Keep consistent with uh, rolling stock on your railroad. Uh, get the brake wheel hardware down here, uh, articulating uh, chains and levers to uh, apply brakes. You have some uh, compressor tanks there and electrical piping and all that good stuff. The battery box is right in here. Um, looks like Microtrain's coupler boxes. Uh, probably pretty easy to uh, change those out if you want to do that, but I think these might be pretty good. I'll test that out later. But yeah, highly detailed bottom. This is a very nice caboose, especially from the side. You can see all the pipe from the side and so forth, all those details underneath. Looks pretty good. So uh, let's take a look at uh, what it looks like running on the railroad. Okay, we're going to test the coupling up against a Scale Trains 4785 hopper, brand new one that I just picked up with their new black couplers on there. We're just going to uh, press into it and it connects pretty easily. Um, shouldn't be a problem for operations. It's uh, nice and easy to couple. It passes and coupler height matches uh, up pretty well with the scale trains. So we've reached the caboose of this video again and the Bluford Shops short body bay window caboose in Nebraska Central Colors. Awesome. I give this one an A+. This was highly detailed, even more detailed than the Atlas one that I just did last week. And I have to actually give that one more of a B, just B, because it, it doesn't even compare to the quality in this one at all. Sorry to say, but this one blows it away. So, if you like what you saw here today, give me a thumbs up. Click that bell down below. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like. Even consider subscribing to the channel. You get notified about new videos that come out. Till next time, Mancavians. Happy model railroading. You stay off those tracks. Bye.